Hello everyone and welcome to my aesthetics number two. I will be going over what I did um, to create these icons. So my inspiration for this was my favorite book, The Bell Jar. I picked some common symbols from, from the novel and I really wanted to create them. Um, so I created most of this with the shape tools. Um, and Pathfinder and, um, sorry, I was, um, and the swatches, sorry, excuse me. So, I wanted everything to look really abstract, so, so for the bell jar, I went in and I made the top, I made a circle and then I made two little pancakes and then I used, um, unite to put them together and then I tried to make it look as much as a bell jar as I could. It was really hard. I know I probably could have used some gradients but I'm still kind of working on the gradient stuff. So I have two little saucers here and this one that's the bottom of the jar. Um, and I put this little reflector so all of this is like a light blue to look like glass but this one was white to show the, the light um, reflecting off of it. Um, if we go down here, this one looks quite abstract. Um, this um, shows electric shock therapy. Um, so it shows a woman um, with a very uh, sort of abstract face. Um, I used gradients in the eyes. Um, and I really liked how I rotated colors on the top of this band here. Um, I, did, I used the pen tool for the shape of her face. And then with some lines throughout her hair. Um, and the outside, but everything else was pretty much the shape tool. I'm trying to think of what else I used that I could tell you. Um, I 100% used the Pathfinder, I used Stroke, Swatches, um, I used um, the eyedropper tool on to... I used the eyedropper tool on the figs. So these are fig... this is like a fig tree. Um, and I used the eyedropper tool on a reference photo that I used um, of, of a, <laughs> evidently of a fig tree and to get these little outlines of varying color onto it. And the inside of the fig was actually really hard because it's orange but it's also yellow and it was, it was really hard to get some dimension in there. My favorite one to create though was the typewriter. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I put a lot of detail into it. Um, you know, obviously I have, you know, shift key, backspace, I have all of that. And then I have all the little gizmos and gadgets on it. In the back, I thought it was fitting to put this very period timey um, floral Sylvia Plath quote. And um, that was a lot of fun. I Sorry, I'm looking over here. I have varying groups of all the things I used. So I would group them and then ungroup them when I wanted to color them or when I wanted to move them somewhere else. Um, and I'd mess with um, what, what strokes I wanted to be thicker, or what shape I wanted them to be, um, and such. So... I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can tell you. I tried to mess with the gradient a little bit on this part of of the fig, but it didn't work out really well, so I ended up not doing it. But yeah, I used the shape tool, pathfinder, um, pen tool. I actually tried to use the 3D tool on this, but ended up re looking really bad. So it was actually 2D, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, hopefully that helps. I know I rambled quite a bit, um, and I hope to see you in class.